gentlemen. Good to see you again. Our update for April 26th. Uh, I was hoping we would uh, uh, be out there golfing today. It, it's not quite ready yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, welcome back. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Um, uh, Cam, I know you wanted to talk today about uh, the women's event on Sunday. Let's start with that talk. Uh, thanks, Sean, and top of the morning to you. It was, uh, it was a stellar event on Sunday. Um, one of the, really the first event where Chef Sean's been able to you know, offer some of his, his cuisine, his menu, and uh, Sean and Chelsea did a great job. We had over, over 60 women, um, thanks to Lori Higgins for, for leading the social charge. A great, great turnout uh, for their luncheon. They had a little meeting and um, a rather uh, hysterical, memorable fashion show. <laughs> nine, nine models, uh, there was a, a lot of, uh, oh, lot of good com camaraderie, some neat new outfits, um, golf shops full, um, which I'm sure we'll get to few minutes but it was a lot of fun and a lot of excitement uh, for the season to get going great great news um i hear we have a draw or something for this you want to you want to draw something yeah no you know, so tell us about the draw yeah so part of the ladies luncheon on sunday um so first off in, in our golf shop we've been very fortunate to uh, get a lot of new lines of women's clothing and, and accessories and all that and, Part of the fashion show, part of the event was anyone who actually came in afterwards and did purchasing, every name went into uh, into a draw to win their purchase. So we have um, all the receipts from that day. We probably had, yeah, we probably had about uh, 30 purchases that day. So we said we would do a draw for one lucky member to win their whole purchase. Okay, I'm here, I'm the witness. One of you ladies that bought something in the pro shop is going to get it for nothing. So yeah, all right. So here we are. We got all the. I think I should be picking. You want some? I, think I, I, don't, I, <laughs> I don't have any Not favorites. All right. How much are you costing me here, John? <laughs> all, right. all right. The winner of the women's lunch and run is Donnie Denise. Oh, great, Donnie! Donnie, you won your purchase. Yeah, one wow. of our one of our models from the weekend too. Donnie oh, was oh, wonderful. Yeah, Good. well, Donnie, you owe me a drink or something. There we go, Donnie. Well done, well done. <laughs> Thanks, John. Um, hey, we have a, a party on Saturday. Our oh, first party. So let's first, talk about it. Yeah, first big uh, 60th event. Our launch party on on Saturday night. Um, today's the last day to sign up. So. Um, you know, we really hope we'll see a few more registrants where we're going to be into the 80s or 90s, I think, for participants. Uh, great menu, some uh, 60 themes, decorations and outfits, um, live music, uh, Terry McGovern, Retrosonic. So it's, it's sure to be a great night and um, nice little gathering to kick off the year. Uh, Terry's an old colleague of mine. We talked together so for many, many years. So that's great. Good to see that. Um, I know it's coming, folks, and I know it fills up fast. So I ask you, Mother's Day, let's talk about it. Yeah, Mother's Day, another uh, great- It's May 14th, by the way, I got it right this time. <laughs> great buffet on, on Sunday. So a few weeks into the season, um, lots of chance to talk to the team in your first few weeks of golfing. So please invite your families and, and, and friends. It's sure to be a great night with a few seatings and you can register uh, via Chelsea and she'll be here of course over the first few weeks of the season in person or send her an email um, please come out for Mother's Day. Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you the question again. <laughs> I didn't get an answer last week. I got early May. Early May can be anywhere from May 1st to May 15th. I was hoping we'd be out golfing up there today. It looked beautiful on Saturday. I and the members that are watching this would like a date. <laughs> okay, so I know Joel makes the final decision. Let's give it our best guess <laughs> as to when you guys think we're going to be out there. I got to say, John, the tone of your question there is very different than any other question we've ever had on Carlton. We want to get out and play golf. We're trying to It's beautiful out there. Like, yeah. The course is gorgeous. The yeah. weather is not, mm -hmm. yeah. but the course is gorgeous. It, it sure is. And we, we want everyone to be out there too. And uh, well, let's say uh, the middle to end of the first week of May. Um, okay. We're getting we're getting pretty close, and maybe next year we'll do a little draw and have the, the date number in there the week before. I mean, what's going on with Joel? We don't know. He's the only one that knows the date, but uh, he, and he does it day by day. What's your guess? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, traditionally Joel likes to open the golf course on Thursdays, so 
I know it's not going to be tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so I was hoping so much it was going to be tomorrow. <laughs> but we so, would have heard by now if it was. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think probably May 4th is probably the date we're looking at right now. But don't take my word for it because I've been wrong every time. So uh, there are, a, I was out Saturday. Yeah. A lot of people out there. Uh, I know you want to thank them all. I'm going to give you a second. But I was out Saturday. The course, I've never seen it look this good this early. It was even dry. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Talk about, let's talk about Saturday. Yeah, no, Saturday was great. And, and we do want to send out a, a very, very heartfelt thank you to all the volunteers who came out. We had about 40 member volunteers come out to help with the cleanup. Um, there's still quite a bit of cleanup to do out there. However, Saturday we had uh, everyone show up around 9 a.m. Joel coordinated it all. I think, yeah, a lot of members were here. Um, very positive on the golf course. The golf course did winter very well. Um, it is dried up, it's still soft in some areas. Still a little too soft to get a lot of the machinery out there to really help um, escalate the cleanup, but the day did go well. And uh, the members were treated to a, a delicious bowl of chili afterwards. So as a, as a really big thank you, and, and we are sincerely you know, thankful for all the help we got on the yeah. weekend. And I know there's still a lot of cleanup to be done out there. There's all the piles, but I think there's still a couple of holes that uh, could mm -hmm. use a bit of work. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I know there are people that are just come and volunteer on their own and they just do what they have to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was in that pro shop the other day. It is full of stuff. We are, we are uh, busting, bursting at the seams. So this year, I mean, last year we had a very successful year. As you know, we, we were very grateful. We, we, were, we were awarded the uh, Retailer of the Year Award for the Ottawa Zone. Um, that was just the start of our momentum. We, we secured a few new brands. Uh, the women have already been uh, super happy with our new lines. Um, right now we are fully stocked. You can come into the pro shop, whether it be looking for a range finder, a new set of clubs, a new wardrobe, or, or just get some new gloves in your hands. We have it all. And uh, the new lines we have are, are doing great already. It's yeah. a, such a great Oh system. my God, I couldn't believe all the stuff you had. Yeah. Unfortunately, and I might even buy one for here. I bought, uh, you know those nice Titleist hats, those big ones yes. you have? Yeah. I, I bought one in Florida. It's hot down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic folks. If you want to keep the sun, it's like wearing an umbrella on your head. It's just beautiful. They look good. They don't get in the way of your swing and they fit any size head because they can That's be right. adjustable. And, and we have those and yeah. we also have Carlton branded ones as well. Oh, yeah, uh, so. definitely I'm going to have to buy one That's here. right. Okay, that's great. Um, just because we can't be on the driving range uh, and and uh, doing our uh, practicing, you're still giving lessons mm -hmm. right now. Tell us about that. That's How do right. we book a lesson? Yeah, no, no, great point, John. Uh, we are still um, uh, open for lessons and club fittings up in our golf academy. So for members who want to get a little tune-up before the season starts, you're more than welcome. Please reach out to myself, Cameron, or Gary. We are still teaching lessons upstairs. And the, the hope is, uh, you know, if everything cooperates well, to get the driving range open prior to the golf course. Okay. okay. So we will be outside teaching as well. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Um, now, Phil Byrne, our captain, our new captain, sent out a uh, message yesterday, mm -hmm. and he's looking for committee members. Maybe you can talk about that. Right, right. So there was a, a communication from our new club captain yesterday. Um, we are looking for member volunteers who'd like to step up and help. Uh, well, first off, we're looking for a men's playing captain uh, to help with all the men's what? events. Okay, so what does a men's playing captain do? Yeah, so the playing captain, it, he helps uh, coordinate the men's events. So so the golf events that uh, are taking place, so the whether it be the, the, the Quinn Hoffman oh, the or- The Saturday events. Basically. The Saturday events, okay. that's right. And then they, they help, you know, with the, the member guests as well. Uh, but we are, we are looking for a men's playing captain. We're also looking for uh, members to step up for the uh, men's member guests and the ladies member guest committees, okay. as well as uh, mixed events coordinators. Okay. Yeah. I, and, and you know what, they're, those people that do that, I, it, it's a lot of work, but uh, it's so worth it uh, for the club. It just makes it so much better. Um, I noticed that when I was out here Saturday, Kyler, you had a whole bunch of people uh, doing a lot of training. Talk, let's yeah, talk about that yeah. Well, it's the time of year. So right now we are, uh, we had all our new staff and returning staff. We came for a day of staff orientation and training. So we had them here for about two and a half, three hours. 
uh, going over all our service initiatives for the year, going over all the, you know, the back shop training, pro shop training, did a nice little tour of the facility, actually did a little bit of cleanup out in the parking lot, just getting, just trying to get involved with, with um, yeah, just getting everyone here, getting everyone oriented. So, a lot of staff. A lot of staff. We are a great crew. We got a lot of returning crew and some really, really good new hires as well. For oh, this that's year. great. Yeah. And I saw Chris out there again this year. He's, uh, He's been here a long time and he knows the ropes. I tell you, oh, yeah. and Chris then, is back. That's Chris right. is back. Um, okay, so you wanted to talk about some of the new staff camp. Let's. Uh, you've in addition to the chef, which we briefly talked yeah, about. Yeah, definitely. Sean, uh, let's talk about some of the new staff. For sure, and uh, just to extend on uh, on the training, we have a great session as well with the food and beverage team on Saturday. This Saturday coming. Um, so similar service initiatives, so we're consistent across the board and lots of new returning faces um, and, and new and returning faces in that team as well. And then we'll have a, a department or uh, club-wide orientation in the middle of, of May for all of our staff, uh, just to talk a little bit about our, our club culture. Um, some specific faces that we wanted to uh, uh, celebrate, um, some new hires. We have a new front of house supervisor uh, Joelle Crow. Joelle has, has started already and she was instrumental on uh, on Sunday for the women's event so, so you'll see her in the first few weeks of the season. Uh, we encourage everyone, all the members to say hi to Joelle and we also have uh, a handyman who's sneaking around the clubhouse doing odd jobs and he's been tremendous working with uh, our volunteers, some of the painting initiatives and Roger's with us uh, this summer and he'll be great to um, tackle a few more of those small uh, repair tasks around the clubhouse and escalate our, our facility that way. Fantastic, fantastic. And you're going to do a clubhouse update. Uh, tell us about that. For sure. Um, yeah, we're happy to announce, um, in addition to some of the uh, repairs and refresh and the painting, the House Committee's been very supportive and helping finalize a new Wi-Fi design. So we have some, some new antennas going in on both sides of the building and the primary uh, area is straight through the dining room and into the patio. So um, the installation will happen in the, uh, the two to three week period. Um, it was a fairly long process with a proper audit to be done and evaluation of different quotes to ensure that um, we could fit the antennas in within budget and to cover our, our member areas primarily. It is a setup that will allow us in, in potential future additional phases to add Wi-Fi in, in other areas, but it's going to be great in the room behind us. It goes right out uh, onto the patio. Uh, and for those wondering why my camera doesn't work up on the tower, it's because the Wi-Fi is so bad it doesn't get there anymore. And I've put the pressure on these guys to make sure it, it starts working up there. We're going to get that camera working more consistently uh, than it is now, right, guys? It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. yeah. I risked my life getting that thing <laughs> up there, so I. <laughs> and when I'm in Florida, it's the it's the thing I use to decide when I'm coming back. If I can see <laughs> those greens uncovered, then I'm I'm back. <laughs> um, membership. Let's talk about that. I mean, because I know from Mensley. I mean, we had a lot of resignations. A lot of people were, you know, on trial left, and some people went to satellite. But I'm, I'm full. I mean, I've, I've got 250 right now sitting, and and more coming. So I mean, I've got a, I've got. So we must have a lot of members. Like I think there's coming in, new faces. Yeah, quite a few, quite a few new members. Quite a few trials that have joined us in uh, some of our long-term categories, uh, whether it's full or flex. So they're here. Uh, more total members in the gold, silver, flex categories um, than we had in the peak of last summer. And, um, you know, we have uh, about five minutes. I have another prospective member tour, so it's going well. Um, for all of us um, listening, and thank you for the referrals to date, Learn to Love It category is full now, and we're still accepting members in the gold and trial categories. Yeah. Well, that's, that's wonderful news for the club, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll continue. And it, and it goes by word of mouth, it goes, there's so many ways to advertise this, and, and but the, the, I think the most positive thing about this, of course, is, and, and it's never lost its, um, its, its mission in that this started out as a social club, mm -hmm. and it remains that way. Uh, I was thinking about this the other day, there isn't a member out there that I wouldn't enjoy being with. Like they, they uh, whether they're on the golf course or in here, 
uh, it's just a wonderful place to be. So if uh, you have friends that are considering membership, remember that particular point. It is a place where we can gather and meet and enjoy each other. And it's never lost that, right, right from the day it started. Gentlemen, next week we'll have better news about us me, me being out there, even though I'm golfing terrible right now, I still want to get out there and hit it into those sticks all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but thank you very much. And uh, we have a men's league meet and greet. If I get this out today, I think I'm going to try and get this out so Tana can put it out today. At, at 7 p.m. tonight, we'll be doing a, a presentation if I can get this projector to work. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll certainly uh, see you then. Gentlemen, until next week, thank you very much. Thanks, John. Thanks, right. John. Have a good week.